Look, no hands. My name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, and I just went to the Bernie Sanders rally in Seattle at Safeco Field, and it was really fun, and I, um, I love Bernie Sanders. I, I, I've never heard a politician speak where I agreed with everything that he said, like, like he talked about um, the economy, health care, the environment. He talked about minorities, poor people, rich people, Wall Street, the banks, health care, just every topic, uh, immigration, every topic, the environment. I agree with what he said on all of it. Sustainable environment, nonprofit health care, nonprofit college, university, corporations, pay their fair share. Let's just, of taxes, let's just say a more ethical, humane society. We can fix the infrastructure, spend less money on war, spend more money on, on fixing the infrastructure here in the United States of America. So, wow, that was a beautiful experience. I want to say I'm glad I went. I rode my bicycle. There was people standing in line for a long time. Today we had a kind of a sunny day. It was a little crisp and cool, but it was sunny. And we all know it rains a lot in Seattle, so today we lucked out and we got some sunshine. And they had Safeco Field like open. I, I put some videos on my Facebook um, and my Instagram and my Twitter have everything linked, hopefully. And I, let me just say, I hope everybody in Seattle caucuses tomorrow, March 26, 2016. I hope we can make history and we can all caucus and try our best to see if we can get our democracy to actually be a democracy, which is what it's supposed to be. I'm a little skeptical of the, you know, voter suppression thing going on in terms of if everyone that wants Bernie votes for him for the caucus tomorrow, hey, can he get in? Because I think he deserves to win. So there, I'm just going like this because I like that. So I loved the Bernie experience. I loved his speech. Uh, I'm, I want to say I'm so grateful that I went. I didn't bring my camera because I wasn't sure if they would let me in. It was to the point where the Secret Service was very strict on the rules and you can't bring any bags. On the website it said bring a small bag and that's okay, but when we got there they said no bags because they just didn't have time to search everybody's bags. So I'm really glad I didn't even bring my real camera. I just brought my smartphone and just took some snapshots and videos with that. That was, that was fine. Um, because I waited until, instead of lining up all day, which I did not want to do with all the other people, I thought, I'm just going to show up at 7 because the doors opened at 4. Bernie spoke around 7, but he actually didn't even start speaking until almost 8. And so I didn't even get there till just about 7. I, I rode my bicycle from my apartment. I locked it up. I found a, there was not enough bike racks um, down there. So I found a garbage can with a metal thing, and I locked my bike. And I didn't bring anything with me except my smartphone which here here's my smartphone with a sticker on it of my artwork and I brought my smartphone and I brought my keys and like and like my ID in case I needed it and a little bit of money and that was it and my keys and I, and I had like a jacket that had pockets that zipped so I could just zip everything up and be safe had to show all my stuff in my pockets to the Secret Service they looked at it. I had a plastic water bottle that I guzzled right before I got there, and then they made me throw it away. They wouldn't let me bring even empty plastic, which is silly, but whatever. I can see why they are strict on that, because they don't have time to search through people's no food, no drinks, no cups, nothing. And so you just go there. I just had to throw away my plastic uh, water bottle. No big deal. It was just one of those cheapo things anyway. What was interesting to me was that there were people so serious about seeing Bernie that they threw away their backpacks and their purses. Like they took everything out, stuck it in their pockets, and threw their bag away in a garbage. Or maybe they just gave it to somebody and said, here, hold this for me, knowing that they might never see it again. I don't know, but wow, I've never been to an event where people were so serious about being there. They're willing to throw their bag away. <laughs> That's dedication. But I kind of knew that they were going to be strict on that rule, so I didn't bring anything with me except, you know, yeah, what I said, my keys, my wallet, a little bit of money, and my smartphone, because you can't go anywhere without one of these. So, 
I'm excited. I'm really grateful that I live close enough to downtown Seattle to ride my bicycle. So I got exercise, free parking, didn't have to wait in line. There was maybe about 30 people in front of me. By the time I got there, it was like seven. People had been lining up since I don't know when, probably hours and hours before, and the line was around the block. So I'm really grateful that I only had to wait a few minutes and there's only about 30 people ahead of me and um, we went through the metal detectors, secret service, you know, looked at our, made sure we emptied our pockets and all that. So I loved his speech. I'm going to caucus tomorrow, March 26, 2016 in Seattle. And I really hope that Bernie can win the nomination. And then I hope we can push him and push him up and get him into the White House because he's my favorite of all the politicians. I'm not really a big fan of any of the other politicians. I would love to have a female president, but Hillary is just not progressive enough for me. I want her to be more progressive like Martin Luther King or like Elizabeth Warren or like Bernie Sanders himself. So I'm just going to go Bernie, 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 all the way Bernie. And then if I have to make another choice, I will if I have to. But I'm not going to think of that. I'm just going to visualize Bernie is going to win. Bernie is going to win and become the president of the United States of America. That would be amazing because he's going to use his executive orders to the maximum of his potential that he can in order to get things more ethical and try to take back democracy from the corporations, the millionaires, the billionaires, the banks, the Wall Street, the military industrial complex. And we are going to build a better infrastructure in the United States, more solar power, more sustainable energy, a more ethical society, deal with racism, heal ourselves from racism, try to get this country more actual democratically oriented and not just have corporations run everything. And the government needs to be telling Wall Street how it's going to be, not Wall Street telling the government how it's going to be. So we need to flip that around and reverse that back. And what else? And I just like so much of what Bernie Sanders said. I'm just really jazzed about it. And again, grateful I could ride my bike there. I got free parking. I was able to get exercise. I'm glad I'm healthy enough to do such a thing. I was all worried about not being able to bring my own water bottle. So I guzzled a bunch of water when I got there. Oh, that's what I was going to say is sure enough, I knew it would be a ripoff. When you go in there, you can't bring your, I saw this poor woman. She brought a big bag of nuts and she had to throw it away. They wouldn't let her bring it. No food, even if it's sealed, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty harsh, but, um, once you get inside, thank God, there's free restrooms and free drinking fountains, even though it's chlorinated water, which I don't like. But I drank from the drinking fountain, and I was grateful they had a drinking fountain. I brought a couple cough drops with me to lubricate my throat because I, I felt like I was going to get dehydrated. I was afraid I would feel dehydrated because I usually always have a water bottle with me. But sure enough, you go in there, and they have the concession stands open because Safeco Field is where we have the Mariners play um, baseball. And you go in there. And the bottled water was $5 ripoff. Uh, they had beer and food, and that was probably like $9 or $10. I don't know how much the pizza was. I don't even eat bread. I don't eat wheat. So I don't, I didn't eat anything. I just, I brought, actually, I brought nuts with me and I hid them in my bicycle. And nobody took them. They were still there when I, when I was done with my, the Bernie Sanders event. And so, I was so thankful that I ate before and I drank water and I didn't spend a dime because I'm not going to give them I'm not going to give them $5 for a tiny little thing of bottled water. So thankfully I got my free water in a drinking fountain. I'm really grateful for that. Not that I think everything should be free, but what I'm saying is is that I wanted to bring an empty plastic bottle because you know how in airports they'll let you bring an empty plastic bottle. They won't let you bring liquid because they don't know what that liquid is. But if they won't let you bring an empty bottle, which is obviously just empty so that you can fill it for free in the drinking fountain, I'm just glad they had drinking fountains. See, I know nothing is really free because we all pay our taxes and we all pay for things. And that's what I want is more of a socialized system where we all pay for water and then we can get our free water when we go to public events. Thank God there's drinking fountains. I wonder who pays for the drinking fountains. I'm really happy whoever decided to have drinking fountains because I wasn't going to spend $5 on a stupid little 
plastic bottle of probably tap water that they sell for five dollars so it's not going to rip me off in that way so <laughs> I didn't spend a dime so I'm happy about that and I got exercise and free parking so I'm really grateful and I took some pictures and, and videos and yes so caucus for Bernie please caucus wherever you are if you're a United States person and if you're in some other country please visualize Bernie Sanders winning and becoming president of the United States because that I think would uplift the entire planet and I love that that video that went viral with the little bird like a sparrow that jumped on the podium when Bernie Sanders was in Portland Oregon recently this little bird he looked and it was on the stage and he's like this bird might not know it but and then the bird jumped up on the podium and kinda looked at Bernie and it just seemed like a magical moment and I looked up the a friend of mine posted the animal medicine of a sparrow and a sparrow is all about cooperation and people and 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 like-minded creatures joining together and helping each other out in cooperation and how sparrows are very small but they're very powerful especially in numbers and don't ester don't underestimate the power of a little tiny sparrow that was a magical moment so I just want to share that check that out Bernie and bird you can probably find that because it's a viral video so this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring Signing out for tonight.